and take me to the morning uh, or evening or whenever it was that you got the call from Nolene to be a part of the World Cup squad. Yes, so uh, we'd been told that we were getting a call on X day and I know a few people had got their call the day before because they had to go to the announcement. Mm. Um, so it was the morning of and I knew it was going to be around a certain time. I can't remember exactly how it played out, but I got back from the bathroom and I had a missed call, which was devastating. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I rang it back straight away and then um, obviously I had a chat to Knowles and um, I don't know if Alex told you that when you had your little chat, but just ran upstairs and burst into tears and um, yeah, it was a pretty cool moment. Yeah. What was the feeling? What was the, the feeling around uh, just after getting that call? What was the emotions that came straight away? Obviously the tears, but why the tears? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I had worked my way to being completely at peace with whatever outcome was going to come. Uh, I was really enjoying Mystics and I was happy, you know, with how I was playing and I just thought whatever happens, you know, I'm, I'm totally comfortable with whatever happens. Mm. And you think that until the moment you're about to find out, which was just horrific. And mm. then I think it was just, Oh, pure joy. Um, maybe a bit of relief, but yeah, just so, so happy and grateful and excited. Um, yeah. Incredible. It was definitely a highlight today. Yeah. And what was some of the things that Noel said to you early on after getting that call back into the squad? Um, so when I'm just trying to think, when we first all got together, um, it had very much been a clean slate and she'd said, I don't care who you are or what you've done before. Like this is where it starts and you mm. can put your hand up if you want, which was amazing um because you know it can get so political and you know there's hierarchies and teams and all that stuff but she just kind of crushed it all and said this is we're all here and we like you can put your hand up if you want um so that was cool and then I think she'd she'd been quite excited to work with me and I was obviously very excited to have the opportunity to be coached by her as well. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty much just do your job and, you know, what are you willing to do to to get there? And it was mm. the same for everyone. I mean, mm. the, the fitness um, cutoff got put in place and there are a number, a number of other things. And the camps we went on leading into it um, were just horrific. In what <laughs> like way? We really got... Uh, just pushed in every single way possible. Um, mm. Yeah, the the Sunshine Coast camp before Worlds was like the worst. Well, I shouldn't say worst, the hardest camp I've ever been on. Yeah, but that was that was all part of the plan. Like we wouldn't have got there, I think, if we hadn't got to that point. What were what were some of the things in the camp that pushed you? Um, it was kind of. Like you just didn't have a chance to to stop and and catch your breath or anything. We just it was training. We kind of two trainings a day with a strength session or a, a beach session in the morning. Mm. Um, so in between, you kind of wolf your lunch down. You might be able to sneak a twenty minute nap in, and then meetings at night and mm. dinner in bed. So it was pretty much it for five days. Um, so yeah, we just got back from that, like, I think everyone had just been absolutely shocked and, um, pushed to their limit. So, but I mean, those are the situations that you really learn the most about yourself and mm. each other as a team. So it was all great stuff. Mm. Did you, so before, uh, Knowles took over the Silver Ferns, had she already come with a, a, a really good reputation of being a good coach or was that something you found out? 
coming back into the team? Oh, she had an amazing track record and um, obviously reputation, and she's just yeah an absolute netball legend. So that, that was definitely very clear from the start, and it was just amazing to be part of um, that journey. And it was quite a quick turnaround, I mm. guess, but um, that was it. We just hit the ground running, and um, you didn't really have a chance to stop and think about anything we just uh, everything was um kind of really carefully planned and and purposeful and it just allowed us to all get on and do our jobs and have fun as, at the same time so mm. yeah amazing amazing opportunity mm. 